Hello again, this is Brian McInerney, hydrologist with the National Weather Service. This is a water supply briefing looking at the hydrologic conditions as of early March. Let's first take a look at the weather patterns. What we're looking at in this aqua color area is the Colorado and Great Basins. and We're going to move out over the Pacific. And what I'd like you to look at is the area up near the Pacific Northwest. And during December 2012, this is where the majority of the precipitation fell. This yellow line that comes up is the predominant line of the jet stream during December. And understand, this is a very simplistic look at a very complex process, but it kind of gives you an idea of where the most precipitation fell. And outside of that, there was still some additional storminess that fell into Utah that brought our snowpack up to normal conditions as of the end of December and early January. When we move to January 2013, we see a high pressure that parked over about 130 degrees longitude, which deflected most of the storm activity to the north of Utah. Then moving on to February, that same high pressure oscillated out to about 140 degrees longitude. And typically when this happens, it opens a door that allows st uh, storms to come into Utah. Unfortunately for us, and these yellow lines indicate, that most of the storms split. There was some from the north and there were others to the south, but yet we were missed out on most of the storms during February. So let's take a look at those snowpack numbers themselves. And these graphs are all very same, very much the same. They're an average for each basin, snow water equivalent measured in, in a water on the y-axis, time is on the x. The, the blue line is the 30-year average, 2011 is the aqua-colored line, 2012 is last year, 2013 is the current year we're at, and we see the Bear River Basin at 70% of normal. We also move down one basin south to the Weaver River drainage, and we see it's at 74% of normal, pretty much bang on where we were last year. When we look at Six Creeks, this is the area to the east of Salt Lake County, we see 75% of normal. And Utah Lake, uh, one drainage farther south, 73% of normal, not even close to 2011. The Duchesne Basin, which is the southern aspect of the Uinta Mountains, at 75% of normal. The Upper Green in Wyoming, also 75% of normal. Lake Powell, which includes Colorado and the Lower Green, at 75% of normal. Severe River Group at 86% of normal, a little bit better than the rest of the state. And then we see down in near St. George, the Virgin River Group at 75% of normal. And let's take a look at the water supply numbers that brought us here. So here's the area that the Colorado Basin River Forecast Center produces forecast for. The green and gray, or the uh, Great Basin, the green and the, the Colorado Basin. And their February forecast, and this is the amount of water that's expected to come out of the mountains from April 1st through the end of July. The yellow area is indicated about 70% of normal. The red areas were 65% of normal with uh, the Weber Basin at 65% of normal. Now when we fast forward to March, we see these forecasts have deteriorated right now. We're now we're in the 50-60% of normal amount of water anticipated to come out of the mountains from April through the end of July. So there you have it. This is Brian McInerney with the National Weather Service. Uh, we'll do more of these forecast updates uh, as time permits and uh, as conditions evolve. I do appreciate you taking the time to listen to this.